This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, my next plush is here and it's Winston the Rabbit Guide. This is the first guide to be immortalized in plush form and the first plush that I sourced, produced, and will be fulfilling all on my own. There are no middlemen, no pre-orders. This guy is available right now at aceofclay.com. The link is in the description box below. Winston is 14 inches tall and is made from super soft microfiber. He has beautifully embroidered details, real buttons, and even fuzzy hair. Each Winston also comes with his own little tag that features his backstory and lore. Winston will protect all who seek his assistance and he's waiting for you to call him home. Again, he's available right now at aceofclay.com. The link is in the description box below. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture and today we're going to be using Chavant clay. Now, long story short, a very nice man approached me at Monster Palooza and gave me these two bricks of clay. And I have heard of Chavant clay before. I know that it was made in like the, the 1800s and it's similar to monster clay. I think it's like a wax-based oil type of clay. And we're gonna try it for the first time today together. And I just realized that this is the Fillet HM variant of it, which I think is meant for like, right here, filling cracks, sealing mold boxes, creating dams or parting lines, and much more. I really hope that you can sculpt with it because this is my idea for this week's video and I don't think I have time to order the straight up sculpting version. But we're just gonna give this a shot and see what happens. Now, I think that we'll be fine. I think that this is just softer than the other blends they have like just right out of the package it feels pretty soft so we're gonna go ahead and do a little experiment and try to sculpt something out of it and we're gonna see if the sculpt like a monster mat is chavant clay proof too you can get these at aceofclay.com best silicone sculpting mat you will ever use now i guess we're gonna get started okay so this stuff let's just open it and see what happens here I didn't really do too much research on it. I watched a couple YouTube videos on it, but nothing super in depth. So this is gonna be a very true first impressions video. All right, so first impressions, I don't even remember what Monster Clay felt like to even compare this to it. It comes scored, so you can just break off a piece and it's pretty firm. I really hope you can sculpt with this. I'm pretty sure you can, why not? It's just a different, a slightly different formula, right? So it's a little hard. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this pound in the microwave and soften it up a bit and then we can build an armature and we'll sculpt a bust. That sounds like fun. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. Okay, I stuck it in the microwave for a total of one minute and 30 seconds. I did it in 30 second intervals just so it didn't get too soft. So this feels very workable. It feels, I wish I remember what monster clay felt like, but I don't. It feels like working with natural, like clay, clay, like clay from the ground. Like when you were little making mud pies, that's what this reminds me of and I like it. I also like that it's warm, very warm. Okay, now before this starts cooling off, let's make an armature. Probably should have did that first, right? So like I said, we're gonna make a little bust. You wanna make a bust of like the ice cream man? That sounds like fun. Okay. Then we got a little bust, look at that, little head, little chin, little, you know, whatever. Let's start covering it in our clay. I'm just gonna do this like I do with every other sculpture. Pile it on. It's nice to be able to use a clay like this in thicker chunks because, you know, polymer clay, you can only keep it at like a, like a quarter inch thick. This, you can make it as thick as you want. The only thing that I don't like, or not, I guess not like, but I don't love about wax-based clays like this is that the temperature of it is just so important. And I don't like having to worry about that while I'm working. You know, it's just one more thing for me to 
have to think about but it's okay we're just experimenting here today but this feels very nice like even though this is the fillet hm clay compound version of it it seems like it's going to be very pleasant to sculpt with it's very soft and smooth and what kind of sucks is i can't just like stick this back in the microwave because there's aluminum foil in it and that's a no-no just kind of smoothing out that surface there make sure it's symmetrical all right okay 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 look at that that was pretty fast it's a pretty cooperative clay again i am using the wrong version of it but so far so good where is my tools spoon tool we got explorer tool so let's start with the mouth start carving out his lovely smile <laughs> I bet you any money the sculpting version of this stuff is a lot better. This is going to be more of a quick clay sketch, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to be using the sculpting tools that I got. I met the guy that makes these. His name is Ken Banks, and it's Ken's, kenstools.com. These are all handmade sculpting tools, and he gave me a bunch of them. So I feel like this is the perfect type of clay to use these on. And he hand makes all of them. These are like scraping tools to just kind of carve out what you need. And they're really good quality. I think the next time I use this kind of clay, I'm gonna get enough of it to where I can sculpt like a life-size bust. All right, we're gonna take a quick break from our video to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or a sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over four years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, asaclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios and galleries. In my line of work, I have to show my art to the world, and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, plushes, and more, and Squarespace makes everything so easy. I can track my inventory, print shipping labels, I get notifications when something sells, and everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you've got to have a social media presence and Squarespace allows you to integrate all of your social media platforms into any page of your website. So if everything I said sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to go live, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code aceofclay. Thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this video, now back to our sculpture. This stuff like really doesn't have any scent to it unless you like really stick your nose in it. So that's good. tools are meant for is smoothing out the surface on this type of clay so you see they're kind of they got these like little ridges in them so it's just like getting everything nice and even then you can go in and refine a little bit more that doesn't look like the ice cream man that looks like it looks like his friend or something but we're just trying to get a feel for the clay people sculpt amazing things with this too See, this is why I don't do too many like face cam videos because like I forget to talk. <laughs> I'm not a very, if you know me, like I'm not a super talkative person and I just, I get really focused. Like I can talk, like I can obviously, you know, carry on a conversation with someone, but I'm usually pretty quiet in social settings. And then when I'm doing this kind of thing, when I'm sculpting and whatever, like I just don't think to talk. These tools are really cool. I've never used tools like this before. Definitely recommend them. I kind of wish I was making a more 
serious sculpture kenstools.com check them out i'm not sure how these would work with polymer clay i'm sure they would work just fine but they're like meant for this kind of stuff and he's got so many different variations they're extremely enjoyable to use like i'm just i'm so into this you can really get in there and, and refine things with these oh i love them I have some other ones too, but these are mainly for like pores. I got some really, really tiny ones. Like these are all the ones I took. These are, this is for like a pore texture. These are really tiny gouging tools that are gonna be great for small things. And then we've got some more pore texture ones. Let's try this out. Let's try the little one out. It just creates a bunch of dots at the same time. That's extremely helpful. Next time I use this clay, like I said, I'm gonna make a bigger sculpture. I don't think I have enough here to do a full bust, but gets the point across. Teeth are killing me. What is that? Lovely little snaggle tooth there. This is cool. Make sure this is all nicely carved out there. And then we can pop in his eyes. Do you like all my Winstons sitting over there? Product placement. I should have called this video like sculpting the ice cream man blindfolded because that's how I feel like this looks. Now his hair. Actually, let's just give him a little like bow tie and give the illusion of a full shirt. Still pretty soft too it's been over like a half hour and the clay is still very pliable His ears on look at that now for his hair Hi, can I place a takeout order? Sure, what can I get for you? Can I just get a sesame chicken combo? Okay, yeah, that's it. And your name? Anthony. I hate when I call places like that and I just forget how to talk. Does anyone else have that problem? Let's make his little hat. Wow. <laughs> okay, for how quickly I did this, I would 100% call this clay a win. Do I wanna try the version that's not meant for filling cracks, sealing mold boxes, creating dams or party lines and much more? Yes. Do I appreciate that this is sulfur free and has like hardly any scent? Yes, I do appreciate that and I love that. And I think, I think, you know, all considering he came out pretty good. I really wanna make like a big sculpture with it too. And these Ken's tools were amazing to work with, especially with this kind of clay. I've never used them before but they seriously do the job. So if you like using monster clay or Chavant clay or any wax-based clay that's like this, these are your tools. Like even when they have like gunk on them and stuff and you wanna just like keep going, you don't feel like cleaning them, you just, they just still work. That's amazing. I love them. This was, this was a fun little project. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to grab your Winston plush. Grab a Sculpt Like a Monster mat. Both of them are available right now at aceofclay.com. Thank you so much for watching and being here, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.